Hello guys, my name is Matthew and in today's video I'm going to show you how you can integrate Google Forms with Salesforce. First things first, we have to create or log in to our Google account to make this integration work. Uh, we won't be able to make this integration straight away through Google, Google Forms, so we will need help of the third-party app. We are going to use automate.io. I will leave the link in the description underneath this video. Once we are, uh, once we are here, we want to go to integrations, the top corner of our screen, and then hover over see all categories in the bottom left part of this pop-up window. Now we are at app integrations. As you can see, we want to uh, pick the first app that we are about to integrate. In our case, it's Google Forms. As you can see, it's a third option. Now we have to pick its counterpart. In our case, it will be Salesforce. Now we are greeted with popular integrations that uh, we are about to explore. Uh, but if we won't be able to pick the one that we are looking for among those popular integrations, keep scrolling down so you can uh, get to create your own integration. Just remember, on the left side, underneath the triggers, there's only one option that you can go for, uh, go for and that's uh, that's uh, Google Forms, new response in a spreadsheet. On the opposite side though, uh, there are actions. There's uh, multiple actions to choose from, from Salesforce. So you, you can pick um, anything you like basically from Salesforce. So, but let's go with the first one, just to show you how it's done. Now we have to click on try it now button. And once we are here, we get redirected to sign up page where the last thing we have to do is log in or register into our account at automate.io. We can also use zapier.com, which is uh, a very similar app to automate. Uh, once we create account in here, we want to go to the top left corner of our screen and click on create zap. Yeah, let's just continue after you log into your account. Uh, we are at uh, create a zap window. So yet again, we have to start with a trigger, which will be Google Forms. We have to pick the trigger event. There are two options. Let's go with the first one. Now we have to log into the account, uh, the Google account. Now we have to set up the trigger from a spreadsheet. There's a, a lot of spreadsheets that already came around. So let's go with this pie chart, for example. Worksheet is a pie. We hit continue. And now we can test the trigger. On the second action, at app events, as you probably thought, we want to go with the Salesforce. We have to pick uh, event as well, continue. And the last thing is we have to log into the account at Salesforce. So that's about it. Thanks for watching and see you on the next video.